Hello and welcome back to Blood Bowl 2 and our vampire team in the Eternal League. And I just got to tell you one thing real fast. I had some petty cash and so I purchased a Bloodweiser babe and hopefully that's going to help us out a little bit. And also I managed to forget that I had enough money to be able to purchase another vampire. Yes, yes. So in other words, we are now going to be... Um, well, we're going to have a similar thing going on, but it's all right. <laughs> it's fine. We're against Britannia, and uh, thankfully they don't have ward save here, do they? Do they have ward save here? Please don't let them have ward save. I don't think they do, right? That's not that's not a thing in Blood Bowl, is it? I don't think so. But they have um, they have this thing called Dauntless and a bunch of other things. Oh, wow. Yeah, these guys actually are leveled up slightly, too. So, ah, both teams get an extra reroll. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? That's that's pretty good. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, right. Well, we can actually attack straight away, can't we? So, um, I mean, we are we are technically okay. We're gonna pick up the ball. Um, last last thing we do, of course. Okay, this guy. <laughs> Yeah, this guy. Okay, wow, well, we're getting lucky already. Okay, uh, let's let's see, let's see. Maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to knock some people unconscious. Come on now. That's actually not bad. Not bad. Okay, come on, let's get some injuries on these guys. Come on, we've got these these fellows literally only have seven armor value. Come on, they've only got seven armor value. Let's do it. Okay, well that's eight. This guy has eight, so he's going to be a little bit more difficult, isn't he? Okay, what about this guy? Oh, we're getting unlucky here. All right, I'm going to re-roll that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty terrible. Uh, I'm going to follow him just so I can mark these guys a little bit here. I'm going to put this guy ahead here as well. This guy ahead here. And then the vampire is literally just going to go straight on over there and murder this fellow. Oh, I got bloodlust, really? Okay, I'll just bite a teammate then. Choose a teammate I wish to bite. I guess this one? Why not, right? Why not? Um, yeah, so hopefully he's not gonna... Oh, he got KO'd. Are you joking? Are you joking? What are you doing? What are you doing there? Okay, well, he got KO'd, but that's fine. We got the Bloodweiser babe, so hopefully it's gonna make a little bit of a difference to that. And I guess I'm just gonna go with this vampire now, because we've already used our blitz, and hope that this works. Okay, he did manage to pick it up. That's good, at least. All right, and we're going to do something really risky here. I'm just going to throw this. It's going to be a 50% chance. I'm literally just going to take the chance. Passed by Lord Barney. <gasps> he made it. He made it. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's really nice. I love it. I love it. I love it when that kind of stuff happens. I really do. I really do. I have a huge amount of enjoyment when that happens. That is so, so fun. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to end the turn here. That's fine. That's great. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty, I, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty positive about this match. Mostly because I think that Ratonia is, mm, I, I don't really have a, a very high opinion of Britonia, but that is not because they are bad. That's just because I don't really know that much about them as a Blood Bowl team. And uh, the only thing that I know really about them is that they have extremely powerful damsels in the Warhammer Fantasy universe. And that they, their knights are extremely strong. And the peasants are not so much. And I'm, I'm, you know, it's kind of a similar thing going on here. Where they're blitzers and they're, they're other... This guy's got block. Uh... Really? Oh, yeah, you better catch it, Mr. Mystery. There you go. Did you did you see the reason? You, you, see, you see that I literally called him Mr. Mystery because it's hard to say. Because his name's Mr. Mystery. Because otherwise it would have been Mystery Mystery, right? You know? <laughs> that was the entire reason why I did that. Okay. Let's actually get this guy up. Or not. Let's re-roll it. Can't believe that I had to literally re-roll that. Can you believe that? Yeah. Okay, let's just get over here and try and blitz this guy, I guess. 
Uh, okay, yeah, we're, get, we're getting... Uh, it's, it's the luck again, isn't it? It's the luck, and we're not getting lucky in these regards, are we? Okay, come on now. Yes, finally. Finally a good roll. Finally a good roll with this guy. And we still got nothing. We st they're still not giving me anything at all. As you can see, this lineman literally has block. Can you believe it? He has block. This guy doesn't. Oh, both down. Can't re-roll it. Oh, he got KO'd. Okay, that's actually perfect. That's wonderful. All right, I'm, I'm very happy about that. And all we need to do now is we just need to hand off the ball to one of our vampires and have him run. And that's it. That's kind of what we want, right? Now, obviously, we just need to make sure that... <laughs> we need to make sure that that actually works. Because, well, we have a situation like this on our hands where it is very likely that the enemy will just, you know, blitz and get really lucky and, yeah, like this, for example. Oh, never mind, they got unlucky. Is he going to re-roll it? He is going to re-roll it. A 67% chance to dodge. He still has a chance to fail it. Yep, he had. He failed it. He failed it twice, actually. Oh, he's injured. He got injured. This is absolutely perfect. Is my guy going to get some uh, some skill points for that? You better get some skill points. He didn't. He didn't get any skill points for it. That is so sad. Come on, you should really get skill points for inflicting an injury, even if it is accidental. In my opinion, at least. I feel like that should be the case. Oh, that's super sad. Okay, I'm going to have to re-roll this, unfortunately. I really didn't want to, but I have to. Why do my vampires not get any luck at all? They are so unlucky. Uh, yeah, well. Not much for me to do, is there, except just try. There we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see what we can do here. We're going to have to get this guy out of the way. Oh, nice, nice, okay. What do you bet he gets a casualty, huh? What do you bet? Oh, no, no, he got, a, he got a KO. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Not bad, not bad, okay. Hopefully that's gonna bode well for us going forward. Let's move this guy over here, and then we're gonna blitz with one of our, one of our thralls for the moment. And, yes, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Very nice indeed. Okay, so let's now hand off the ball to this guy. There we go. Perfect. And then we're just going to move him over here. I'm literally not going to move him that far at all. I'm just going to move him there. And then we're going to take this guy over here. Please. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was already saying, please don't. Please don't do the bloodlust problems. Okay, yeah. So basically all I'm wanting to do right now is I'm wanting to get this vampire into position so that we can potentially go for a throw play. Uh, but obviously... <laughs> That's very unlikely, let's just say that. It's very unlikely, but I am hopeful that we will be able to make it work. And at the moment, I mean, I feel like, okay, here's the thing. My strategy has somewhat changed a little bit, and I'm using my vampires less like, uh, sort of like bashy characters, and I'm using them a little bit more like ball carriers because that's obviously what they're supposed to do most of the time because they're the ones with the four agility and i'm using my thralls as kind of the guys that throw a lot of blocks and a lot of a lot of like interference and basically just keeping them a little bit more invested in the uh in the chase as it were you know the chase making sure that people are not you know coming after us and everything that's kind of the uh that's kind of the deal. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a maybe that's a wrong way to go about it. But that's kind of the thing that I thought. You know what? We're just going to do it that way. Okay. We can push him away. Fend is okay. That's fine. We're just going to push him away. Because what I want to do is I actually want to run this guy over here. And then throw the ball. And then maybe we can go for it. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're going to do that. Alright. So we're going to go here. Bloodlust. Please don't do. Please don't do bloodlust. Okay. Okay. That was actually nice. Now we can throw the ball. It's a short pass. 67% chance. That's inaccurate. I'm going to re-roll it. Because I really want this to make... I, I really want him, want him to make this. 
There we go, he made it and he leveled up as a result of doing that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for it like here. Please don't do bloodlust. Okay, bloodlust actually did work. Let's go for it. He made it, he made it. Yes, Lord Barney actually scored. Can you believe it? Yes, very nice indeed. So this is kind of the style of play that I feel like we should probably be going for moving forward. Uh, I don't know, as I say, I don't know whether this is really correct, because <laughs> this is certainly not something that I would have expected, you know, to actually work, but apparently it did, somehow. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do, whoa, okay, I'm not entirely sure if this is a good plan, but yeah, I'll go for this. I'm just going to go for the pre-made formations for the moment, but you know, I'm going to learn as it goes on what I want to want to do and maybe as we gain more vampires, maybe I should just place a huge amount of vampires on the front line or something. Anyway, Blood Reform gets an extra team reroll. That is us, by the way. That is my team name, Blood Reform. I'm not sure if that's actually any, I, I probably should have called it something like Thirsty Work or something along those lines. That probably would have made more sense, both from a football, playing football standpoint, and also from a vampire standpoint. But, oh well, never mind. I <laughs> uh, can't do anything about it now. Alright, so, who's got the ball? Oh dear. Yes, a guy with block and... Is that dodge? No, he's got catch? A blitzer has catch? Why does he have catch? That's so weird. Oh well, never mind. Okay, well, Mr. Mystery is having a rough time of things, as you can see. He's getting, well, basically stunned every single time. Um, I am very, very pleased, actually, that we've already been able to score. And this is kind of the reason why I was looking forward to the Bretonian match. Because I feel as though their, their, their players are not that good. I mean, yeah, sure, some of them do have block. And of course, that's going to make a big difference. But I think only two of them have block, as far as I'm aware. I think their blitzers are the only ones that have block, with the exception of that one lineman that actually leveled up. Yeah, no, no, they actually have four blitzers, never mind. They have four blitzers, so that obviously does make a pretty significant difference, but, you know, it's still, it, it you know, it, it's still only four of them, which I guess is enough in most cases. Okay, so who's got the ball? That guy. All right, yeah, well, we're going to obviously do something about that guy in just a moment. Mm hmm okay, so we're just going to move here. I'm basically just wanting to get these guys a little bit out of the way. So I'm going to try, if I can, to inflict a little bit of damage. There we go. And then we'll mark the guy. Oh, hello. Okay, no, no, we're not getting anything particularly good here. Bear in mind, it's actually not even entirely bad to level up the Thralls, even though Thralls are, you know, more likely to die than um, than other things because of the Bloodlust. But it's also because... Oh, wow, really? Uh, yeah, I kind of want to re-roll it. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, that didn't really work out too well, did it? No. Okay, well, I'm still going to move and follow him. Yeah, so uh, the point is, what I'm trying to say is that after this match is w is when we're actually going to be getting some additional vampires. Or maybe that's going to make a big difference to the way that we play. I don't know. We'll get one more vampire, that is. And we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, I already blitzed once, so I can't really do anything else. I can move around here, though, and actually mark this guy which is exactly what we want to do. And this is going to this is going to slow them down quite dramatically because obviously they have to move around our tackle zones. And I've tried to spread myself out a little bit here, so if he does try to get around us, and bear in mind he's moving at hmm, actually not bad. He's got 7 movement allowance, which isn't actually terrible. That's pretty that's pretty fast for a guy in in armor, right? So we might have some issues. We might. Okay, we're going for a blitz here. Interesting. Okay. Lofty Ambitions is uh, is going to get a, <laughs> a little bit of a smack in the face right there. Okay, wait a second. Uh, really? Oh, I had a bad feeling about this one, but thankfully it's just a stun. 
Okay, yeah, but this is the funny thing. I feel like my vampire should be able to penetrate their, 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 oh no, actually wait, maybe not. No, this is a good cage actually, at least from this angle, maybe not from this one. Yeah, we're going to have to get these guys up first, and then I'll throw some easy blocks. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, I'm going to stay actually with this guy. Nice injury, yes. Finally, we're getting some armor breaks. Well, some proper armor breaks. Oh, he's got a damaged back and he has no apothecary. Oh dear, poor guy. All right, well, there you go. That's uh, that's not great for him, is it? No, not at all. All right, well, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to move over here, just in case this vampire has a problem with bloodlust. You never know. And we are also going to be doing this. Oh, come on. Oh, no offense right now, but what is actually going on with my vampires? They are really, really having huge, huge problems making any headway whatsoever with getting kills and we need them to get kills otherwise it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be terrible you know they're not gonna level up at all it's gonna be very sad indeed as you can see we're now having this but at least I'm marking the uh, marking the guy I need to go over here just so I can support the vampire a little bit just in case and this fellow can obviously do something too, but I'm actually not entirely sure what he can do. He could move here, I suppose. Ah, bloodlust is obviously going to affect us now. So let's just bite this guy. He's the only one within range, of course. This is exactly the reason why I actually moved that guy <laughs> over there, of course. And there we have it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to score. Uh, I mean, okay, okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll withhold judgment a little bit here because maybe we will, but it's highly un... Well, I think it's highly unlikely. I mean, it is... It is a case of us getting the ball and then scoring almost immediately. So, if it is possible... We're going to have to do it straight up. So we're going to have to literally do it in the next turn. And that's not going to happen now, as you can see. And he's not going to score either, by the way. So it's actually not even entirely bad. Maybe I should just try to bash. Maybe that would make sense, you know? Maybe we should just bash a little bit and uh, try to get some try to get some skill points for our for our friends here. I don't know. Maybe that would make uh, make make it make things a little bit more a little bit more comfortable for us. I don't know. I could also try to get the ball, but the vampire that needs to run with the ball afterwards is over here. Which is um, not great. I mean, I could try. I mean, it is possible for me to try. So let's do it. Let's let's give it a go, shall we? I can actually do this. Okay, let's let's actually try a blitz with this guy. I have no rerolls. Oh, it actually worked. I'm very surprised. Oh dear. The ball bounced in the worst possible way. Oh, I can actually... Wait a minute. No, I can actually get there. 67% chance. Let's do it. No bloodlust. 67% chance. I picked it up. I'm going to throw the ball. I'm not going to throw the ball. Hmm. No, I'm not going to throw the ball. Ah, oh, no, I should throw the ball right now, but I also can't. I'm going to have to do... Oh, no, I'm going to have to do something risky here. I'm going to have to do this. Stand up, please. Thank you. Uh, let's take him over there. 
And we can also roll a block against this guy. Okay, yeah. No, no, this is good. Okay, uh, yeah, this is actually fine. Uh, a lot better than anticipated, that's all I can say. And... I think we're... Maybe we have the possibility of, of, of actually scoring, okay? We do have the possibility of scoring. Oh! <laughs> He's not re-rolling this? He's not re-rolling this? This is hilarious. Attack it down. That is the most... Oh! That is the most satisfying thing that can happen in this game. I mean, apart from the fact that he was only KO'd and he wasn't killed, it would have been fantastic if we had literally just killed him straight up right there. That would have been amazing. Okay, so the one thing that we need to do now is we need to literally move this thrall over here. This is going to be extremely important. And then we need to move this thrall uh, probably around, a, uh, well, actually around about here, I guess, just in case we fail the bloodlust. Because basically what I want to do is I want to move here and then throw the ball. I could technically... You know what? Throwing is way too risky. Why don't we just go over here? Just give him the ball. He failed! No! He rolled a one! Mm. Oh, see now that then that's one of the most painful things that can happen in, in, in this game. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Really? We were going to score. Is he serious? Who's that? Steve? Steve? Why did you fail me, Steve? Why did you fail me? Uh, I'm saddened by that. To no end. To no end. Oh, well, never mind. There you go. I mean, it's the roll of the dice, you know? It's the roll of the dice, and it is just as likely to get a 1 as it is to get a 6. So, yeah, if you, yeah, I mean, if, if you believe that, because, I mean, you know, uh, this game, you know, this game does have a lot of really questionable moments where you think, ah, the AI is cheating. <laughs> I mean, technically, it could be that, you know, they gave me that one on purpose because they wanted, you know, they wanted to reduce the amount that I can score. But I don't know. Is that really going to be the case? I don't know. Is it? I don't think so. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe there is something to it, but... Yeah, we're going to go for Beneath the Cloak, I guess. We'll go for Beneath the Cloak again. Um, I actually felt like we were... Wait a minute, the enemy has barely any people on the on the field. What? <laughs> Alright, wait, wait, wait. We might actually be able to get something really, really cool here. And we got an extra team reroll as well. That's great. Okay, so we've got four rerolls right now. That's really nice. The enemy only has two. Okay, we might actually have, uh, have uh, a couple of extra scores on our hands. That would be nice. He failed to pick up the ball as well. He's going to re-roll that. Did he manage to pick it up this time? Yes, he did. All right. Well, that's good for him. Good for him. Ugh. I just can't believe it. We literally got the ball away from the enemy ball carrier, managed to pick it up, and then I managed to make it all the way over to mine, and then we failed an 83% chance. Ugh. I'm still reeling from that, actually. Still reeling from it, but... Oh, well, it's not going to do me any good dwelling on it, is it? So we should probably just move on. Is this guy literally going to injure one of my guys? No, you better not. You better not, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got two people that are now stunned. Uh, he's going to just push me. That's absolutely fine. Not a problem there. And I think what I'm... Oh, yeah, of course he's going to move one of those guys in there. All right. I was actually wanting to blitz super fast right here, really, really aggressively. But that's not going to work this time around. I'm going to actually just move this guy over here. And I'm going to move this fellow over here. This one here. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure that we have as many marks as possible. And obviously, uh, that's the thing. We're going to have to... Eh, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we're going to have to move this guy... Like so. Steve, you roll a six now? Come on now. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't even get me started. 
Don't even get me started. No, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to blitz with this guy. And we're just going to try to get close to the opponent if we can. There we go. Close to the ball carrier, that is, obviously. Close to the ball carrier. And he's probably going to try to run away in the opposite direction. So my main concern right now is just kind of supporting the vampire. And I don't know, maybe he's going to try to run away this way. He might try to run along the edge. And if he does run along the edge, I should really have a person ready to handle that if necessary. So that's the reason why I'm moving this guy over here. He's blitzing? He's blitzing a vampire. Okay. Well, uh, he's just pushing him into a decent location for me, but obviously now that frees up the ball carrier, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, I can't do much about it, can I? Oh, wow. The, the, uh, okay, so uh, w what's actually going on here? The amount of armor breaks that this, this team has had against us is staggering. I'm extremely surprised. Oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what can we do about it? Not much. Okay, yeah, so uh, they're getting really lucky with their defender downs as well. I mean, basically, my thralls are defenseless. They have nothing. They have no dodge, no block, no nothing. So, obviously, it's very, very difficult for them to actually make things work. But, yeah, now the ball carrier has moved into the center. But this is actually okay. And you know the reason why it's okay? Because we have the ability to clear this guy away relatively fast. Nice. That's good. Nice. That's a stun as well. So it's going to keep him out of action for quite some time. And I might be able to actually go for something really, really cool here. Um, however, I'm going to just do this. Mm, yeah, we, we need to do... This, I guess. Basically, I'm just trying to injure them as much as possible as well. So if I do get the opportunity to do that, then I'll I'll obviously try. Uh, let's see. Uh, if we get a push, then obviously. Oh no, this is good. This is good. Okay, this is good. Very nice. And now we can basically blitz with either one of these guys. Um, I'm actually wondering, should I just move into there? Yes, we should just move into there first, and then we'll blitz with this guy. Very good. Or not. Reroll, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come uh, on. They gave me the same result. The same result. Why? Why? Oh. Oh, uh, oh, oh, there is no, uh, okay, there's nothing I can say, there's nothing I can say, because all, 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 all I'm going to say is that it's just unlucky, yeah, it's great, it's just, uh, oh, terrible, terrible, absolutely terrible, oh well. And of course they're rolling one die blocks, oh, 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 come, come. one die block. And yeah, sure, it's against a thrall, but it's a one die block, and he gets a defender down, and an armor break, and a stun as a result. Look at this, and I'm not even getting attacker down right here. So he's just going to be able to push. Uh, the amount of annoyance I am feeling right now, you don't even know. He's, he's not going to reroll that, of course not. What's funny about this, though, is that I am literally going to be able to... Uh, well, he's freed up my vampire pretty easily right here, so technically I can move him wherever I want now, which is really quite fun. Um, but the problem with that is that this this other vampire... I mean, technically... Okay, here's the thing. What we want to do is we want to blitz ASAP on this guy, but we're not really going to be able to do that with this fellow in the way. So we're going to need to get him out of here. Oh, wow. Okay, we actually got something. My thralls are getting really, really lucky with rolls. But everyone else is getting super unlucky, which is obviously not what you want. You really don't want your vampires, <laughs> when they are the meat of your army, to actually, like, you know, get really unlucky. It's terrible. Uh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see here. What can I do? This is so bad. Okay, let's just get the vampire up at least. 
And let's just, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. This is gonna be terrible. I'm sorry. This is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna do it because there's no other option. Reroll it. Oh, I, I, okay. I'm. <laughs> I, I I don't have I don't have any words. I am so aggravated right now. Oh 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 that is that is a there is a special kind of place. For the luck of the opponent. Let's just say that, okay? Let's just say that. The <laughs> Oh yeah, there is nothing else I can say. Because it would probably it would probably get the video demonetized. <laughs> uh, no, that's just an excuse. I would say it. I don't I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> There's only so much I can say. Oh well, never mind, okay, you know? There's literally only so many times I can say that and uh, keep my sanity. So let's just, let's just, just, okay, let's just try it out, okay? I'm starting to lose my sanity very, very slowly. Right. Oh, I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe it, okay. I'm gonna have to th yeah, get some thralls over there super, super fast right now. And uh, then we're just going to gang up on him. You know, we're just going to gang up on him real bad. Okay, let's try and kill this guy. You better not fail the bloodlust, you absolute imbecile. Okay, here we go. Really? No, I'm going to reroll this out of pure frustration. And we just get a push. Yeah, you should never reroll out of pure frustration, by the way. That is really, really bad. But I'm doing it just... Because I'm very frustrated right now. Yes, yes. That is that is the exact reason why I'm doing that. Okay, you better kill someone. Come on now. Kill someone, please. Anyone. Of course they're not. <laughs> they're not going to do that. Uh, yeah, you better kill this guy now. Okay, no, of course not. Of course. Of course we're not going to get any kills. Of course. That's wonderful. All right. Well, that's fine. I, I'm still in a decent-ish position, uh, but literally, you know, we would have been 2-0 two, two right now. We would have been 2-0. I don't know why this guy's coming this way, but he's coming towards two of my thralls and one of my vampires. And uh, if he wants to do that, then, well, he's welcome to do so. You know what's really funny as well is that generally the enemy team has basically no... <laughs> They have no people on the field right now. I mean, really, they have very few people. They've got about, what, seven people on the field or something like that? And technically, that gives us an overwhelming advantage. But even so, I'm still unable to really make any headway here. Just purely because they're able to, uh, you know, get lucky. Uh, yeah, okay, well, this is hopefully going to work. Nice little blitz. Yes, come on now, defender down. Are you, what, 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 what? No, you better not re-roll that same. Okay. Uh, right. I... What? 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 Okay, uh, <laughs> how many times have I said what now? I don't even know. Many, many times. That's all I can say. Many, many times. But every single time, okay, I, f I feel like this AI, okay, I'm, I, I'm gonna say it, okay? Usually I think, oh yeah, that's just, you know, that's just luck. That's just RNG. That's just, you know, unlucky or whatever. This guy's actually going for a 50% chance to, to dodge. And he's gonna make it. No, he's not. Okay. 
Um, I, uh, he, he got, uh, I, what is the AI doing actually right now? Because you saw what he was trying to do right there. He was trying to dodge out of this tackle zone and he was trying to run and go for it all the way to the end zone. What is that? What, what, <laughs> what kind, what kind of decision making is this? I don't know. This is, uh, this is absolutely insanity. Insanity. I don't know. Absolute insanity. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway. Um, what was I, what was I talking about before? What was I talking about before? I have no idea. I got completely distracted because of the way that this guy was playing. Super weird. I don't actually understand that at all, but yeah, there you go. All right. So, um, <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah. I, I was going to say the... Usually I'll say that this is just RNG, right? You, you know, because that, that is generally what it is considered to be. You know, it's just going to be RNG most of the time. Choose a teammate. Okay, I'll choose this guy. Right, so usually I'm just going to say, yeah, that's just the roll of the dice, right? Because that is generally the way it is presented. However, every single time, and I'm talking about every single time... I have tried to take out one of these blitzers. I have gotten the exact same roll. The exact same roll. And I kind of feel like that is a bit fishy, you know, it's a little bit suspicious. And uh, I'm not sure what to really make of that, to be honest, because from my perspective right now, as I just said, you know, as soon as we were going for the ball carrier, as soon as we had a vampire capable of doing it without getting any bloodlust, we always got attacker down and both down. And obviously this wouldn't be a big deal if the enemy had no block. But he has block every single time. Same thing right here. You saw that? He rolled almost exactly the same thing again. But he picked both down. I mean, obviously, both down. You know, once again, they're, they're getting both down. And they have block. And that is the exact reason why they're able to do this kind of stuff. Because they wouldn't be able to otherwise. Obviously, they wouldn't be able to. Okay, let's get Barney up, and let's give the ball to him. There we go. All right. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna score, but the enemy also isn't gonna score. So I guess that's. Uh, I guess that's good. And I mean, what look, what what am I? What is this? Like, okay, here's the thing, yeah. The odds of getting a um, a good a good roll for me is two out of six as far as i'm aware right because there's one defender down and one defender stumbles on the dice right so technically and i i, I think i might actually wait a minute wait a minute do you think i can actually make this no i know i can't make it no i can't make it i'm sad now Oh well, never mind. Yeah, I, I I can't make it even if I do a really really fancy uh, really fancy throwing play or anything like that. I'm not gonna make it. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, there's a two out of six chance for me to get something that my vampires can use to, you know, take out these these blitzers. And both times I've got an attacker down and both down and there are two pushes and now what's funny about this is that attacker down and both down is that's also a two out of six chance because there's only one of them each on every single dice so what, what what's actually going on with that because <laughs> it's a two out of six chance again it's the same exact chance to get both of those results 
So why so why did it happen? Uh, what was it? Three times in a row? Look at all these armor breaks as well, by the way. Literally, look at all these armor breaks. It's absolutely insanity. Um, and they're, they're getting defended down almost all the time as well. Have you noticed? Have you noticed how, how they're getting that? It's absolutely crazy. I, I, I don't actually understand it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm basically just going to throw the ball. A 50% chance. Yeah, sure. Wow, he... Failed it. Oh, well. Never mind. I was kind of hoping that he'd get a couple more skill points, to be honest. But there you go. <laughs> uh, I was actually going to throw it to that guy, and then I was going to throw it back. And that's basically how I was going to do that. All right, so we got a three. Uh, should I re-roll that? I don't know. We got a three. That's okay. I'll re-roll it. Oh, we got a two. Oh, well. Never mind. <laughs> it only reduced my winnings by 10,000, so that's not particularly bad. But my... Uh, oh, the MVP was literally Duke Count Lord, which is not what I wanted it to be. Because he was the guy that actually would, was uh, leveling up anyway. So I actually wanted Lord Barney to get it. If, if at all possible, that would have been amazing. Oh, the lizard men are next. Oh, dear. Oh, my. That's going to be a bit of a problem. By the way, have you seen my team's slogan? Have you seen that? <laughs> I need to counter 10 and manage my anger after that. That's for sure. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to be buying a, a vampire, of course. And um, we are now going to level up Mr. Duke Count Lord. So let's level him up and see what he's going to get. Hopefully he's going to get something good. Well, I know what we're already going to take. We're going to take Pro. That's going to be exceptional for him. And many, many people have said in the comments, and thank you so much for this, by the way, because, I, you know, obviously I kind of already had an idea what I was going to do, but Pro was something that was on my mind, but I wasn't really... Yeah, I was kind of thinking one way or another about it. You know, it was it's one of those things that is super, super good. But there are a lot of other things that are also super, super good. So I was kind of a little bit in two minds about it. But thank you very much for letting me know that it is indeed something that we want to go for. And we're going to buy a player. We're going to buy a player uh, off screen, actually. I'm not going to buy it right now because uh, I need to think of a name. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.